thank you to everybody who has been joining us from day one. I can see a lot of frequent commas here. I'm hoping that it's been a great time together. And I've been sharing some of my life stories, trying to compress 40 years into 40 days um, is quite a task. So it's usually a brief summary of the life stories, um, some songs that mean a lot to me at that time of my journey and a sing along, which are songs you probably all know. Um, and big thank you to those joining us on Facebook Live and those who would watch replays on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube or you want to watch on YouTube, please press the subscribe button. And as I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to be talking about um, my experience with poverty today, um, which some people find quite strange because some people believe I was born with a silver spoon, <laughs> whatever that is, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, and even if I was, it appears at some time the silver spoon got lost. <laughs> okay, so I remember um, this must have been in my secondary school. Of course, you know there is um, there is um, poverty that that can be um, that you can cause by yourself, um, meaning those occasions. Um, that you spent your lunch break money and then you had to walk home for four hours because you spent your money. So those ones are self-inflicted um, lessons. But aside from those, well, th those ones were present in my secondary school days. They were the ones that happened um, as a result of life experiences. And I remember at some point, my father's shirt um, was fading around the neckline and torn. And we would say, ah, oh, daddy, why are you wearing this kind of shirt? Ah, uh -uh, what kind of shirt is this? And my father would say, ah, it's because of you children that I cannot buy clothes anymore. <laughs> it was a bit interesting because it's not as if my parents have six children or anything, but he used to say that in a very joking fashion at the time. And then there was a particular day um, I was at home with my mom and um, we wanted to buy bread. And you know the way the bread sellers um, hawk on the streets in the residential areas. Um, we were living in Old Budija at the time. And um, the bread seller, you know, they would say, fine bread. Okay, so we were both hungry. So we decided, okay, let's buy bread this morning. So we called her now, yeah, let's buy this bread. And the cheapest one she had was 10 Naira. Okay, so we took one because we were going to share it. And then we started counting the coins in the house and we counted all the coins in the house and we had 950 and we were looking for the 50 kobo. And after delaying the girl for a while, the girl said, leave it, don't worry, leave it. And she, she gave us that loaf of bread and she went. So it was one of those times that um, we look back on and remember the faithfulness of God. And interestingly, um, what you have does not determine how much joy you have. Otherwise, the richest people in the world would probably be the happiest people, but they aren't. Um, so there's a lot that comes from being contented with what you have and being happy. And happiness is a choice, is a choice. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that's a choice we make every day um, by ourselves. And by the grace of God, if you think we've seen sad days, better days are coming. And I was telling one of my friends this evening, I said, part of the reason why I'm doing 40 days of praise is that so many, many, many things have happened in my life that I feel I've lived three lifetimes, um, but I have a lot to be grateful to God for. And that's why I'm doing 40 days of praise. Yes, so the other thing that happened at that time was that we had an okra tree behind our house. I don't know whether some of us read the book, Jack and the Beanstalk, but it was about one particular beanstalk that was growing very magically and growing extremely large and everything. But we had this very special okra plant, which I believe God provided for us at that particular time. And um, for some reason, every day we had new okra on that plant, every single day at a particular time. And we'll go out in the afternoon and pick all the okra from it. And the next day we'll go out and pick all the okra on it. And there was no day we went out and we did not find okra on that okra, okra stalk. 
and then we would um, grate the okra, we would mix it with egusi, and we ate eba, we ate eba, eba is a cassava flakes, we ate eba with that okra soup. And then I would walk to the market, which wasn't very far from our house, um, and buy roasted fish, and we would shred the roasted fish into the soup and use it with palm oil, and it was delicious, um, but it became a staple in our house. Um, yes, it was like having manna to eat, but you know, and the thing with that, about manna is that there's no variety with manna, so sometimes you begin to grumble. <laughs> that was all this ever, every day. But we thank God for better days that have come since then, and we give all glory to God. I wouldn't go into detail of um, how um, my shoulder pads developed. So some of you might see that I have very, very straight shoulders. Um, there was a time we didn't have water and we would have our bath with water and recycle the water, stand in a bowl, have our bath, recycle the water to flush the toilets and all of that. We were living on the third floor and um, Jamie Tucker was feeling very, very strong and energetic in those days. I'm still strong and energetic by the grace of God. But that time I'd carry 25 liter jerry cans and climb them up, take them up the staircase. I'll carry them one on each arm. And uh, that was part of the reason why I have shoulder pad. But um, we thank God we did not break any bones then. And we are still here to tell the story. <laughs> All praise to God. So um, I'm going to sing a song and I'm going to end it with the chorus from Jiren, which is a song that we probably all know. My apologies for starting late today. Um, had I was delayed at the start, so we started like a minute after. So I'll just sing this song that I love, end it with the chorus from Jiren. And then um, I'll, si I'll sing another song that my father loved to sing, which is titled, um, In Any Way God Will Provide. So it goes, um, and then we will sing, the sing along is, since I was born, the, best, the, the, the lyrics we sing today are, since I was born, walking with the Lord, I have never seen the righteous bank. The version you might know is, since I was born, now I am getting old, I have never seen the Lord change. But this is the original version I knew, so we'll sing that one, and we'll end it with, the great provider, which we probably all know. And like Paul, um, we've learned that there are times when we are abased, there are times when we are full, there are times when we are satisfied or we are hungry, but in whichever circumstance we are, we will choose to praise the Lord. Okay, so the song is When I um, I'm Your Child. When I get lonely, I'm your child. When I get hungry, I'm your child. When the weight of this world seems to burden me, I don't worry, no, 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 no. I'm your child. When friends have departed I'm your child when I get broken hearted I'm your child I cry Abba Father and I know you hear my cry I don't have to worry I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. I'm your child. And you are Jaira. You are enough. You are Jaira. You are enough. And I will be content in every circumstance. You are Jaira. You are enough. I'm sure we can check the original on YouTube. Very popular, very beautiful. Let us be content because things will change for the better and God is working it all out for our good. 
So the Yoruba song, as the, my father loves to sing, the other thing my father loves to say about this is that ati ni ati which is a prayer that both what we need from ourselves and what we need from others, may, may we not lack any. Okay. Liyono kono oluwa iyo kwese Liyono kono oluwa iyo kwese Liyono kono oluwa iyo kwese Fuwa wanto beke wale um, so there's a scripture that says, since I was young, now I am getting old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. So let's hold on to God. God is going to make that change that we're believing for happen. Um, at this point, I would like us to know about um, my wish for my birthday, which is to give a token to 40 widowers or widows. 40 orphans and 40 ministers, all of them need to be indigent, meaning needy or um, unable to afford the basic necessities of life. If you know somebody like that, that desperately needs to be on that list, kindly get in touch with me. And um, if you are willing to be part of that, making that happen by making a free will donation, I would be extremely glad to hear from you. And I am looking forward to seeing it happen for my 40th this year by the grace of God. Okay, so the sing along is, since I was born and now I am getting old, I have never seen the righteous beg. Since I was born walking with the Lord, I have never seen the righteous beg. No, have you seen? No, 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 no. Since I was born, I have never seen the righteous beg. No, 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 no. Since I was born, I have never seen the righteous beg. No, begging. since I was born, I have never seen the righteous begging. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel. Okay. He's the great provider, the great provider. He's the great provider, the great provider. He will surely provide He's a great provider. He will surely provide for me. He's the great provider, the great provider. He's the great provider, the great provider. He will surely provide for you. He will surely provide for you. Surely provide for you. Provide for me. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for staying for. See you again tomorrow. I'll be talking about my journey in second university going forward and other interesting stories journey if you know someone that needs cheering up needs to be here kindly invite them big thank you to those joining us on facebook live as well god bless you